actions speak louder than words. And yes, your actions many years ago show that you were very interested potentially in medicine by getting all of that experience. But now, your actions don't speak that. Ask Dr. Gray pre-med Q&A. I'm excited to have you on to answer your questions. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. What can I answer for you today? Um, so my question has to do with the work that I am doing while I'm applying to medical school. I'm mm-hmm. um, just a little background about me. I am 24 years old and I am applying to medical school in 2021 to start okay. in 2022. So a year from now, okay. um, I'm currently working on um, taking post back classes. I'm um, kind of a do it myself post back program and I'm um, really trying to get my science GPA up above um, 3.0 as far as I can. Mm-hmm. Um, and as well as doing well in the MCAT, um, and through undergrad, I accumulated around 3000 hours of clinical experience as a physical therapy aide and a pharmacy technician. Um, I have over 2000 hours of volunteer experience, Mm -hmm. shadowing, um, things like that really for me right now, is just my grades and my MCAT score, um, but through college, I worked as a server. I'm an like extroverted person. Um, it, the hours are flexible. The money's good. It was just conducive to that crazy pre-med schedule. Yep. And right now, while I am um, working on my post back classes, I am also doing that. Um, in addition, I am a director at a summer camp for kids with cancer. Um, okay. So that's kind of continuing my volunteer and leadership experience. Um, but my question was, um, even though my focus right now is my coursework and getting my GPA up, are medical schools going to frown upon the fact that I am, you know, working in a restaurant and not in a clinical setting, even though I have all these clinical experiences and did the full time um, clinical research and things like that already? Yeah, so it's a great question. It's something that comes up a lot, especially for non traditional students who we're on the pre-med path to begin with, potentially. So one of the things, and I'll get to your answer in a minute, one of the things that potentially concerned me is you said you're applying to medical school and most of your hours, clinical-wise, are being a PTA, right, a physical therapy assistant, and a Mm -hmm. pharmacy tech. Now, for me, pharmacy tech is not clinical experience. Uh, it's it's retail experience, right? You're you're at a counter, typically at a Walgreens or CVS or wherever you are at, um, in interacting with patients. In a, it, but it's retail, so a lot of schools are going to not really look at that and go, "Oh yeah, okay, clinical experience." Physical therapy, a definitely clinical experience, but it's in a physical therapy setting. And for students who have this physical therapy aid or assistant experience, I encourage you to put it on your application and list it as clinical experience, but I hope you have other and potentially more clinical experience in a more traditional potential setting. Uh, c- because at the end of the day, the, the question is that you're, you're trying to answer with your applications is why do you want to be a doctor? And if you only have PTA experience and pharmacy tech experience, the question is, do you have enough experience to really show that you want to be a doctor? Right, physical therapy aid, if you want to be a physical therapist, great, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. Pharmacy tech, a lot of students do it because it's, it's easy, it's flexible, retail hours are pretty wide and fit with school schedules. It pays pretty decent, I, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But it's really not clinical experience. And so that's the mm-hmm. first question for you is, do you have other clinical experience or is that it? So I, oh, I've accumulated around 2,000 hours of research experience, um, a quarter of which is clinical research, um, okay. chart reviews, things like that. So that's, um, that's, not cli- that's technically clinical research by, by name. Chart reviews mm-hmm. isn't clinical experience, though, right? So yeah. I, the, okay. And this is good. I'm glad you brought it up because a lot of students get tripped up by this. They think oh, I'm in a hospital, therefore it's clinical experience. But chart review isn't clinical experience. Yes, it's clinically related. But remember that for the purposes of the application, for the purposes of you being able to determine why you want to be a doctor, clinical experience is being around patients. Okay. 
Okay. Now, would my volunteer experience being around patients that, I guess, um, that, 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 that definitely makes, that makes sense. Um, I'm just trying to kind of figure out if I need to kind of move forward and really focus on the clinical experience as well. Um, I have all these hours, like I mentioned, I'm the director at a um, pediatric oncology summer camp. Yep. Um, so these, these are patients in a mm-hmm. sense, but um, not in the clinical setting. So, so, so that, that, so, and, that, and that's the key point, right? I just said that just because it's a clinical setting doesn't mean it's clinical. Mm-hmm. Just because it's not in a clinical setting doesn't mean it's not clinical, right? So okay. being being at a camp for pediatric oncology patients, that could be clinical experience. It depends okay. on what you're doing. If you're only the director and you're sitting in the office all day long just managing, then no, it's not clinical experience. Yeah. Um, but But there's a potential for that to be clinical experience. And so... These are great questions because students get very confused about this and, and they'll email me and they'll direct message me and they say, well, what about this? And what about that? And what about this? And, I, and, and my answer is always, I don't know. I, I don't know by the title if it's clinical or not. What you did, did you interact with patients? And then a lot of students will go, well, some of the time I interacted with the patients and some of the time I stocked shelves and cleaned the beds and whatever, right? Then my answer is great, focus on, the times that you spent with patients Mm -hmm. and only count those hours, right? Estimate out of the total time you did doing whatever activity it was, estimate how much was actually clinical and put that on your application. Okay. I see. Yeah. That makes, that makes a lot of sense. And that definitely makes it clear for me how I have to kind of frame it moving forward. Yeah. So going back to your original question, right? With, with that out of the way, Going back to your original question, it is a potential red flag to get all of your hours and go, okay, I have enough, right? Let, let's assume all of your clinical experience is great clinical experience. I have no questions about it. It's amazing. But it was all in undergrad, and now you've been out of undergrad for a little while. You're doing your post back and you're working as a server, and you're really not doing anything else just because time doesn't permit. Mm-hmm. That doesn't look great either. Right. You again, the whole point of the application is showing why you want to be a doctor. Mm-hmm. And I said it on the last Ask Dr. Gray or a couple ago, and I'll say it on this one that actions speak louder than words. And yes, your actions many years ago show that you were very interested potentially in medicine by getting all of that experience. But now your actions don't speak that. Your actions speak more towards you being a server and you getting this other experience. And yes, I completely understand that that's how life works and you have to pay bills and put a roof over your head and and put food on the table. And you could most likely get four hours a month, eight hours a month of something to still keep your foot in the door and keep proving to yourself which will help write a better personal statement, write better essays, and, and better interview at a medical school to, to show them why you want to be a doctor. And your actions are, are backing up everything that you're saying. Okay. So if, so if I were to um, you know, show that I'm continuing this clinical experience, um, even if it is like in a volunteer capacity up until the time I apply, that's showing them that I want to be in the clinical setting, why I want to be a doctor, and that I'm continuing it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, up to, to know, up know. to and through. Remember, a lot oh, of students forget that, that, right? Through. You can put uh, on AMCAS, and I forget if a Comus lets you do this as well, but you can put the date up to the expected matriculation of medical school and estimate those hours as well. Okay. So we, okay. So even if it's not like something that's full time, it's just showing them that I want to be in the clinical setting yeah, and that I am taking the initiative and to do that. Exactly. And it's not just showing them, right? It's, it, it's continuing to prove it to yourself too. Yeah. Right. That's that, true. that's, yeah. that's the most important part that students miss. And they just hear me saying, oh, you have to prove to them. You have to prove to them. It's only for them. You have to check the boxes. No, this is, this is to 
continue to prove to yourself because guess what? We change over time, right? Our likes, our dislikes, our, our vision for what we want to do and be changes. And mm-hmm. many years ago in undergrad, you're like, yeah, this is really cool. And if you go step foot back in a clinic or some sort of clinical experience now and you're like, well, this really wasn't what I thought it was, right? And that's okay. Mm-hmm. Then you go find something else you're passionate about. Okay. All right. That that's great. I I think I definitely have a lot of direction now and how I need to move forward. Good. Um, so thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Any other questions I can answer for you? Um, I I don't think so. Not. I think I know how to move forward now. So I really good. appreciate the, All right. the advice. Well, good luck. And 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 just one final comment, right? You being a server isn't a bad thing. Being a server is great experience, communicating and and leadership and, and organization and all of that stuff. So you don't have to quit serving. Just mm-hmm. try to figure out a way to to do some other stuff again to prove to yourself that this is still what you want. Yeah, get back, get in the clinical setting and show them and myself why I want to do this. You got it. All right, thank well, you so much. Good luck, thank you for the question and uh, please keep me updated on your progress. Will do, thank you. Yep.